one is off. And the second free throw, good. Check out the game Dikembe Mutombo is having. Eight rebounds, and he's rejected more than his share of shots today. An interior defense at its best, fellas. That's what we've seen out of him today. Here's Livingston. Kicks it to Armstrong. Here's Jordan. Here's Purdue. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Abdul Raouf. Dishes it to Ellis. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. I mean, you never expect to get opportunities that easy coming down the stretch of a tight game. Jordan kicks to Armstrong to the left side wing. Purdue the screen. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Matumbo. To the middle. It's tipped inside. Stiff. And Jordan sends it back. Armstrong against Rodgers. Armstrong passes to Livingston. Shoots the three. A rebound by Stiff. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, and as a coach, you can really ill afford to have those types of opportunities presented against your defense. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. So at Chicago now, the lead is two. To the middle. There's the pick. Outside for Jordan. Shot clock at five. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And it's Armstrong missing. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Abdul Raouf kicks to Ellis. To tie it up. Pass to Abdul Raouf. Out to the right wing. Here's Rodgers. Kept alive. Another shot. Ellis can't get it to go. Chicago with the ball. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. And I think taking a time here to talk things over is a smart idea. One of the things you want to do is make sure everybody is clearly on the same page with the game plan. And sometimes you need a timeout to make sure that's the case. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. As this game approaches its finale, the outcome's still undecided. He told them, we're not far, fellas. It's within reach. Seize the moment and walk away with a win. Guys? Thanks a lot, Doris. Here's Jordan. Passes it to Kirk. Outside for Jordan. A three. Pippen. The Bulls keep it alive. Pass to Paxson. He dishes it to Grant. Paxson kicks to Jordan. It's Pippen with a drive. Boom! He chains it straight down. And hang time on that rim. Puts a little whip free on that angel food cake there. <laughs> it's a tight ball game. And those displays of strength, Clark can get one team rolling. Agree. And also the other on its heels. Let's see how this one turns out. Denver calls timeout. You look at Scotty Pippen. He's really been playing well. He just continues to light him up. They're going to have to find a way to make him work harder for his point. Here's Ellis. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Ellis has got 19 points. And you could tell they had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Pick by Cartwright. And then Pippen slams it in. 
Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. I tell you what, I like that, though, guys. Some coaches might not want you to make a play like that, but I tell you what, when you got the skills like that, I say go for it. And let's get this update now from Doris Burkers across the way on the sideline. Hey, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Denver's head coach was going over with his team. He told his guys that their offense needed to run through Ellis. Coach has a lot of faith in him offensively and let his players know it, insisting that he be at the forefront of what they do at that end of the court from here on out. It's pretty late in the game to be altering the game plan, but they're going to come out with a different look here, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Doris. Just two to shoot. Here's Grant. Offline with his three. The Nuggets trail by four. The pass to Rogers. Here is Stiff, guarded by Jordan. Stiff against Jordan. Here's Abdul Rauf. And the shot is good. Abdul Rauf's got 19 points. Yeah, that, that's careless defense, though. I mean, he's one player you can ill afford to let run free. He just loves to be a money player in the fourth quarter. Now, here's Jordan. There's the third two-handed slam. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low. And I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation, but... Well, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. Here is Stiff. The Bulls getting the bucket to the wing right side. Five on the clock. Abdul Rauf. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. He's got 21. Here's Bippen. Grant outside. Back to Pippen. Jordan dishes to Pippen. Pippen is doubled. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Grant. Matumbo is a nice D. Nuggets trail. Abdul Rauf. And it's a scoring explosion from Abdul Rauf. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. The drive by Jordan takes the 12-footer and hits. Jordan's got 10 points here in the second half. Here's Abdul Rauf. Screen by Ellis. Abdul Rauf kicks to Ellis. Shot from the low block, and no good. Trying to use the glass. Yeah, but you have to love that tough interior defense. And, Greg, that's exactly what he gives you. I mean, he's constantly making his presence felt around the rim. Now, here's Pippen. Snatched away. Jordan against Rodgers. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Rodgers has got the game tied up here for Denver. Jordan, the pass to Pippen. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Jordan, the screen. Back to Pippen. And he dunks it after the pick frees him up. And it was the screen there, guys, that freed him up as he ran his man into it. And then it was all acceleration, G.H., the bucket right after that. Almost a backboard breaker. Here's Rodgers. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Jordan, the pass to Pope. Paxson kicks to Jordan. Shot clock at five. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Matumbo's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Matumbo sets a screen. It's deflected. 
Now here's Jordan. 136 left in the fourth quarter. Grant with a screen on the tumble. There's the steal. Here's Rodgers. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan's up shit left. Pats check in for Abdul Rauf. Denver calls timeout. They're trailing by two. 121 left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-one left here in the fourth quarter. To the paint. Here's the tumble. Thrown down by Deep. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely <laughs> threw that one down. Pippen against Rodgers. Cartwright with a screen on Rodgers. Down to five on the shot clock. And taken away by Ellis. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Oh, incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. And guys, mark that play right there because that could be the one that leads to a surge to break this thing wide open. Now here's Pippen. To the paint. Here's Cartwright. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. Yeah, I agree with you there, but at least they did get the clock. Clock stop. That is the one saving grace of that situation. Good on the first, and that narrows the gap to one. And both free throws good for Cartwright. And nice there. He does not waste those opportunities. Just what they needed with this game still in doubt. Denver calls timeout. Here's Pat, guarded by Paxson. I tell you what, I'd settle for having as many points. In this game, as he has rebound. Yeah, I echo that. I mean, we're witnessing something special here today, Greg. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Seconds up in the shot and game clocks. Jordan against Stiff. Jordan up top. Here's Crange. Come! They don't get any bigger than that basket. They needed it, Greg, and he gave it to him. Denver calls timeout. They trail by two. 11 seconds left in the game. Pass to Stiff. Pass to Pat. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. That was a fun night of basketball. Fabulous finish as Clark they continued to wait out until the very last.